slow mo, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, everyone, we're here today at Target, and we have one mission, one request from all of you wonderful viewers at home. Soak a Pal Peralta flight deck in nail polish remover. Dang. So we gotta find some nail polish remover. Oh yeah, advanced. Get it all. Wait, wait, no, Mo, don't do that. Don't do that. We gotta do I feel some like math we should here. just go to another Target and do another one, just the big ones, so they can have their little ones. And I think Why do you feel bad about just selling no. out the store's whole supply of nail polish remover. Yeah. Because hey, because here's my what idea. If, you got that one if we have to drive, if we have to drive to another store day. to get nail and polish then remover, like, then someone else uh, has to as well. Exactly. exactly. Nail polish remover. And hey, it's hey, one okay. of these, and she walks over. How about we make a deal? How about we leave one? Leave a thing. We're driving their sales through the roof. There's some more. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 you almost forgot. We gotta leave one. Oh, no, I'm using this one for me. <laughs> Alright, two? Yeah. There you go. See, we're not bad people. Yeah, we are. All it's right. okay. We gotta go get a plastic bin. And a plastic bin? What's the go-to story? If someone asks what we're doing with all this nail polish remover, what are we doing? Well, um, we had a very, very giant nail uh, that we found from a giant that is from uh, Nova Scotia. So we have to get the nail polish off the nail. I forgot to tell you that there was nail polish on the nail already. And it's a giant nail, so I mean, it's gonna take a lot of this, so. Not only that, I would just tell people I'm opening a nail salon. All right. Now we gotta find a bin that will perfectly fit a skateboard. Dude, you remember the ones they used to have? Where they, they are don't now? Have them. What? It looks like they don't I... have them. Oh, 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 yes. Right there. Yes. <sighs> but this one got on God. Yes, sir. That's We're good to go. Time Let's to get go. our acetones out of here. Test him. All right, well, we have our storage container. We have our nail polish remover. We have our flight deck. We're gonna go back to the Braille house and get this experiment Wait, started. Get breaky? We gotta get breaky. We gotta get breaky? You gotta get breaky or I'm gonna get you messy. Go, you going stabby? Ew, Starbucks. I, that's not breakfast. Where, where are you gonna get breakfast? Uh, somewhere that has breakfast. No. <sighs> this, this is sensational. Biking today, and they're gonna be like, Yo, we need to restock a bunch. <laughs> the inventory manager is gonna be like, What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> There's 39 of these big ones. I don't know how many of the little ones to use. Well, bag secured. All right, everyone, so we have here this $110 flight deck. It is a, a really cool uh, Metallica collaboration, which I didn't even know was a thing, but here we go. Let's see if it fits first and foremost. It fits. Like a glove. Actually, you know what I just realized we need to do is put grip tape on this and then put some trucks on it and then put it in here. So Oh, we're putting we're, it we're, as a complete in here? Yeah. Ooh, baby. Hold on, can, can we test it real quick before we put grip tape on it? What are you doing? Gotta kill me. Okay, I'm gonna do tricks on this. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Pop. And while Nigel is doing that, I we can begin the pouring. Start with the big ones first. If you like have a purple or green first, hey, I'm gonna go get my face mask because I don't want to get no fumes in my nose. Hey, that's a good, I'll be back. That's a good idea, Mo. I'll be back. All right, we have a board. We got we got a big board with some little trucks. Hey, the people are gonna be so mad that we're gonna. Oh, they already know what we're gonna. Let's go do it. Yeah. Let's go do it. I'm excited. Go. You got any predictions? I think the trucks are gonna fall off. Sink through. Oh. oh. Mo, you got any predictions? Ah, uh, it just might be wavy. What I think is gonna happen is that the carbon fiber is gonna be perfectly fine, but the wood is gonna completely delaminate and it is not gonna exist anymore. That's strong. Hey, Nigel. Yeah. I need you to watch your acetone with me. All right. Shall we? Did grip tape down? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Excellent. There we go. Perfect. Here's the lid. The lid? Lid! Show me the lid. Leave it in the comments below. What do you think is gonna happen? Make your predictions now, and if you're right, give yourself a pat on the back. Oh my 
my gosh, this smells crazy. Yeah, we need to close this. Look at the, the eyeballs looking at us like, are you sure you want to leave me in here? We are here 24 hours later at the Braille house and we are going to go reveal what the nail polish remover has done to this poor, poor skateboard. Everyone hold your breath. What in the world? There is the graphics delaminated. What the heck? Oh! What the grip? What do I do? You skate it. Yeah, this is the, the, oh, it's pretty strong. All right. Board has been removed. Glow, come take a look at this. Get a nice close up of how insane this looks. So we have the grip tape is fully dissolved off. The graphic barely holding on for its life, delaminated. It is still in one piece though. So when we did this with a regular skateboard, it literally it looked like lasagna noodles by the time we took it out. So this is that. So carbon that, fiber can never break board? Yeah, it is. This is the flight deck, so I think the carbon fiber might have had something to do with it still being intact, but we're gonna have to let it dry, and then we're gonna actually have to skate it to actually see how it holds up. This is impressive. All right, everyone, it is finally time, the moment you've been waiting for. It is the time to skate the Pal Peralta flight deck soaked in nail polish remover, a solid $200 worth. Let's go over to the main skate park room and we're doing a kickflip off. You break it, you buy it. All I gotta say is the flight deck technology is the truth because we've done this video with a non-flight deck board and Bro. it just delamined and like <laughs> was the bacon. wave. It was a wave. Turned into bacon. That's how Go, you ready? That was grip tape. The first test is seeing how much the nail polish remover impacted the structural integrity, the pop. Not at all. That has more pop than one of my skateboards that I just set up brand new. How? how? We only left the, the other regular skateboard in there for like, a, it was only 24 hours, right? Knowledge. What sorcery are they using? We, after this, if it stands up, we might have to just leave it in there and see how long it Did, takes. Well, to... I think, doesn't it uh, dilute after a little oh, while? Yeah. yeah, so I think it's already done. Um, it's let me not say breaking. Something. Now, it ain't breaking. It's a flight deck. It's not breaking. If we do the kickflip test, we take it three stair, five stair, three block, hit it on the bump to bar, do all that stuff, and it doesn't break, we'll How give we it away. Do that with no grip? You better kickflip that thing, brother. Board sucks. Wow. How that was that? That was a kickflip. That was that. He kickflipped well, for he sure. Two in a row. The kickflip test has been won. Nigel, I've never, I've never seen you kickflip so prolifically. Maybe you should soak all of your skateboards in nail polish remover. Go ahead, JD, give it, give it, a, give it a stomp test. Stomp test? Give it a stomp test, go ahead. Go ahead, from the top. Go ahead, go ahead, come on! That's not budget. No more kickflip. All right, oh, you got it. You, no, you got it. Keep Glow, three stair? Yeah, all the way to three stair. That's what you get for skating with no grip. Ah! We had those, those covers that we wore earlier. If you really look at it, you can see that inside within like the carbon fibers, like it wants to break or like just do the noodle. You know, like ramen when you heat it up and it's yeah. like yeah, soft. Yeah, yeah. But my well, question for you is why yeah. isn't that happening? Because it's carbon fiber right here at the top. And then I think it's the other layer right there, like just that dark spot right there is the carbon fiber. So it's like, it's holding it together and the carbon fiber is pretty strong. You can also feel like it did something to the carbon fiber. How many times did I say carbon fiber? I feel like I said it like more than 10. Yeah, this thing's not breaking. No way. Oh my God, it's so slippery. So I purposely stomped on it to see how it would hold up. I didn't feel anything. And I think it's also because like, you could see the squares wanting to come out of the board, like uh, where the hardware is. Yeah, this board is not breaking, but I'm, I'm impressed. That's not breaking. Yeah, that's not breaking. There's no way. I think, hey, just maybe like one front lip test and I think we just end it there because Yeah, honestly. We're gonna get into a position where we're just doing tricks to do tricks and the point was to break this and it's not breaking. It does oh, bend though. Yeah, look, I was gonna say, it looks it like it does, flexes it a lot. It flexes more. a lot more though, look. But still, I mean, you know what that is though? It's the, it's the wood. Yeah. It's the structural integrity of the wood is not as strong as it was before. Yeah. But the carbon fiber is still not gonna give it's, though. And it's holding it. Yeah.
Things that, not breaking. That looked like a boat sailing. Should we go the cheat way? Upside down on a, on a, on a step? I want to film slow-mo. I'm not doing it. All right, everyone, there it is, our experiment. We were expecting this board to be destroyed, but I gotta hand it to Pal Peralta and their flight deck technology. It withstood the nail polish remover. We are absolutely shocked, and we wanna know how shocked you are in those comments below. What other experiments should we try? Should we try a life board in nail polish remover? Should we get some actual acid? Leave it in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.